Yes. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Mkondi Sinkalipi. Uh, yeah, I am here today with us, the people uh, in, uh, in the show. I have Mr. Fedel. Mr. Fedel, how are you, sir? Sure, my brother, I'm well. And it's not uh, Mr. Fidel, it's Tirele to Mati. Oh, it's Tirele. Yeah, that is just the campus name, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. No, I understand. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tereleti is the spokesperson of Ask the People, and Ask the People is the gist of our conversation we're going to have today. And yeah, uh, just to take you through, Ask the People is just a new political organization that was opened in, that was founded actually in the year 2020, and it's known for its ideology of the stateless government. And uh, it's a very interesting uh, ideology which I assume and which I know that it was uh, mostly, mostly taken from Mikal Bagunin, I think. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to uh, have questions from Mr. Fedel so that we expose the political parts because Black Magnificent Show is about Black excellency, about Black people, young people doing the things in South Africa. Yeah, uh, where we are going to start, uh, we want to know what it, what really gave birth to us, the people? What sparked uh, the founding of these political organizations? Well, I think uh, it is the conditions and the natural process of change that happens because we cannot live in particular conditions for too long, especially conditions that tend to oppress and limit our freedom. So the conditions of the people everywhere is what uh, gave birth to such an idea that mm. uh, through the observations we have made in all systems that have existed before, they, they have always led to the same conditions. So what sparked the formation of such an organization is the, the necessity of an alternative way of thinking and organizing society. Mm. Mm. No, I, 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 I get you. And uh, I want you to define to the Miana because uh, I know you, if you can take us through uh, what is us the people or who is us the people? Uh, how did you come up with such a name and what does it mean, us the people? Well, I think it, it does not need to be explained. I mean, it's us <laughs> the people. So mm. it, it comes about uh, through realizing the only thing that we need and it mm. is us, we need ourselves. People are everything, so we cannot call ourselves something else and want to identify ourselves through definitions that come from the world. We could have called ourselves or socialist or you know blackist or what, but <laughs> what we essentially are, mm. we are us, the people. Mm. No, it's 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 clear that because it's what you stand for, the people, that's why you call yourself as the people. Yes, no, we understand. don't stand for anything else. And we believe our ideology does not uh, reflect any ideology that has been defined before, because our ideology is the people. <laughs> no, it's very much clear. And it, there's something very special about us, the people, the, because when I look at your shirt right now, I can see the matrices there. And uh, for sure, they should have a, a meaning specifically. Can you take us through uh, uh, the, the, the regalia you are having? Yeah, well, the, the logo of As the People was discussed quite thoroughly in the formation of, in the founding summit of As the People. So we could not come up with a, you know, logos such as spears or guns, you know, such organizations. So we had to actually show the entire society 
what happens in terms of what we really are as the people. So the, the matrix codes uh, mm. emphasize, uh, not only emphasize, but they represent uh, what is there and what is not these binaries. So from ourselves as people, mm. we get a society. So everything is zero and one. It's either you have nothing or you have everything. Mm. So everything, if you quantify it, it's one. You can't have two everythings because everything is everything. Mm. It is one yeah. everything. So it, it's either nothing or everything. So mm. in this everything, there is people, but people are part of everything. Yeah. So it's zero and one. You choose what you want to create through the ideas. they represented by zero, which gives us the, mm, does not limit us in terms of so creating everything. Mm, you can't have yeah. power in, in us, the people, we don't believe in us. <laughs> we don't believe in? In us. There's no it's one or zero. Yes, if you have something, mm. the whole thing remains. It's just divided into two equal parts. <laughs> but the whole thing is still there, it is one. <laughs> no, it's clear, leadership. It's clear. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 interesting. It's it's the part. Let that me I just want... expand it because that was just on a fundamental level. But in yeah. terms of application of the matrix, mm -hmm. uh, it is a as a symbol on the logo and on the T-shirt. It is a it symbolizes the necessity of people to exit the matrix program. Mm. So we, we, we know that people are locked in a complex uh, matrix that they are unable to exit. And we believe that you just need to unplug. Then when we have unplugged from the matrix, it is where you will be able to see the truth and uh, live by truth. Mm. So as long as people are still in the matrix, they cannot be able to, they, they can never be freedom. They can never be, uh, yeah, because we are essentially about freedom. So if you are put in a particular program, you are unable to create your own program, then that is not life. As people who are supposed to not follow mm. one person's program, because we are able to all come up with our programs that we know that they suit us best. So if we follow a program that involves greed, that involves violence, that involves uh, mm. poverty, that involves uh, authority, then we're essentially giving away our power to create a program of peace and love and prosperity mm. and freedom. That is essentially freedom. Hey, but it's a so, political part of smart people, man. You must understand no. the matrix. <laughs> it, it is simple. It is either you, you are in the matrix or you are not. When you are in the matrix, you are saving the matrix. You can never save yourself. And uh, it's simple as that. It is either it is or it is not. Yeah, uh, I was getting to the following question, the very interesting uh, uh, question that everyone needs to know. Uh, the, the ideology of the stateless society leadership, uh, which is what us the people stand for. Do you mind in elaborating what, what does it mean to have a stateless uh, society? Yeah, well, a stateless society is not uh, particularly an ideology, but mm. it arises from the ideology of the people. So a stateless society is a, 
a society that is always uh, where people have control over their lives, where people have control over decisions that affect their lives. Uh, mm -hmm. Unlike now, where there's a particular authority that is imposing particular laws and particular ways of living on to others. So it is basically a society without authority deciding mm -hmm. on behalf of everyone else. We all have the authority to choose. That is what makes us human. And we must be able to live in a society where we are able to express that fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I understand. But in 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 terms of implementation, do you think, Leda, it is it is possible that people do things without someone as an authority or as a leader standing before them? There will be things they will implement. I mean, we're implementing this show now. Who is the leader? Who is the authority over here? We're having a peaceful con conversation. We're having a fruitful conversation. There's no one who is imposing anything on us we're just doing it because we want mm. to do it and it does yeah. not harm us and it does not harm anyone else so there's no one who must tell you to eat. is there an authority that tells you to eat is there an authority that tells you to wake up no so why do we need an authority that tells us how we must live as a society it cannot be we must all be able to decide and uh, as communities mm. Obviously, it starts from an individual, and uh, you live with uh, your household, then you live with your, your, your community, then it is the entire uh, earth actually deciding on what must happen to issues that affect them. Now, issues that affect you, you don't even have a say, you don't even have mm. anything, you just elect a, a representative who you think will represent your issue. I mean, you give me five years to represent issues of 60 billion people, it, mm. uh, it is not going to happen. I mean, I have my own interests first. I cannot make sure that everyone eats if I have not eaten first. So it is a, a system that enables everyone to take responsibility for their life. Mm. No, I understand. I understand. But uh, and and how do we how do we start about as us the people, uh, where do we start since everyone is used to the form of authority standing before them? How do we start as a stateless society? The society is essentially stateless. We don't need to start, we need to stop. Mm. Stop following authority. We don't need to start anything because that when we were born, mm. that was the start. And uh, we started following authority later. You should mm. get a child. You can't tell a child that don't do this. The child is going to do it so that they can experience that. Then the authority just comes later when you start now obeying authority instead of expressing yourself. So we need to stop authority. We need to stop uh, wanting to be sheep uh, looking mm. for a shepherd so we need to stop and then that will automatically be the start of uh, freedom mm, i understand i understand but since you are you are intending to have a stateless society it means the the the, the current system you are having troubles with what 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 are the things that you think uh, the state is disadvantaging us with Disadvantaging us with its existence. Mm. Yes. Oh, so essentially, I cannot say it is disadvantaging us with issues, particular mm. issues. Its existence, its fundamental basis is based on disadvantaging us. So it entirely disadvantages us because it takes away the authority from, from ourselves. So if I take away your authority, then anything that I do, I'll be disadvantaging you because that is the basis of the power that I do anything with. Yeah, maybe maybe I think it's the terminology, but the authority you are talking about, what, what are those things that- uh, Okay, freedom, is... sovereignty, 
you know it's mm. like that freedom and sovereignty because if i give you the authority to make a decision concerning mm. my health then i'm taking away my personal sovereignty to live as i see that i'm not going to have myself or another mm. yes mm. no i i i see leadership no hey, it's a very it's a very uh, 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 hard thing to to believe in our life it is not a hard thing to believe i mean right now you did mm. not uh, give anyone the authority or your sovereignty you did not give away your sovereignty to express ideas as we are doing now but yeah you can decide to give it away <laughs> oh. right right yeah so it is the easiest thing to do it is just to stop listening to anyone who is saying they are above you who are all equal <laughs> so the government then how do you how do you you plan it to be because now there are people that are there in parliament they are trying to uh, uh, to to stand for what other people are standing for which you say it is too it is too uh, it is, it is you can't stand for is, people people stand it is for less time that you represent 60 billion people no i get it Lee. it's not even But about now, the time mm. it's about even if you give me five years to represent one other person i mm. have to represent myself first we mm. don't need to be represented we need to present ourselves as people because to represent is to try mm. to duplicate something and present it but it is not yours you understand mm. Mm. so if i say that you are representing i'm representing you in a, yes, an issue that affects you I, i cannot do that it is i don't know if i put it bluntly as that but yeah no no are, i get you you are yourself i am myself you cannot represent me in anything so, i need i need to present myself then we all present ourselves then we will be able to live in the present we present 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 so your present yeah. is been taken away and being represented but it is not being represented it is actually another person presenting themselves <laughs> so other people are presenting themselves in the name of presenting others yes because these others want to be represented instead of also mm. presenting themselves it's like okay. uh, you know present is actually if you check the spelling p r e s e n t is also present you are mm. given a present right to explore and enjoy and yeah. you want someone to explore and enjoy on your behalf so it, it cannot happen you must explore and enjoy your present then that is how you'll be able to create a future but if you give uh, your present to someone then your future will be determined by that uh, person I, yeah uh leader you 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 stopped me there when i was trying to build up something but let me rephrase it like this supposedly we wake up tomorrow and find out that as the people has won the election and they are now in the power how do we start about uh, what what the first move because the first move you already said that you stop uh, being the authority but then how will how will everything move now how will how, how will everything move yeah i think what I think do you mean that, everything i mean I, i don't know everything will not stop and everything has never stopped right there's mm-hmm. never a time where the world had stopped saying we are waiting for a state no the state came and found the world moving so we'll continue moving just removing this one removing the what the parliament as a whole a parliament is a not particularly a parliament but the entire government mm. yes the entire government that is a representative government 
where people are represented by others. So we need to all present ourselves. You know, you present yourself obviously where you are, right? Mm. And if you try to uh, represent yourself elsewhere, then it, it, it has, it's not going to form anything. Just, you are just going to remain in that state. No, so no, the, no. motion is constant. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. So, uh, 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 yeah, but as, as other political organization, uh, what can be the most in your manifest? What are the things that us, the people, is planning to achieve that well, other mean, political parties are not doing? It's a dissolution of the state. We're not planning anything else because anything else is already happening, right? Mm. Mm. We are planning dissolution of the state. That means that uh, I heard you earlier suggested that when us the people gets into mm. power, mm. that will be a point where us the people we are in power, and the people is not a, a particular group or it's not a particular individual. So yeah. when you say as the people are in power, then people will get to decide on what they want. They'll get to decide how they continue because either way, life is going to continue, but people yeah. need to decide how it continues instead of a single individual deciding on how it continues. So we don't need to start, we need to stop. As I suggested. Yeah, no, no, I, I understand, I understand. Now let's get into the, uh, uh, to the intestines of the party. The party on its own believes that people should be empowered, ne? that the power or everyone should be responsible for themselves. But how is the internal structure of us, the people? Is there a chairperson? Is there a president? Is there, uh, uh, how, how is the internal structure of us, the people? It is the same way nature uh, envisages. I mean, a structure is not uh, names of positions. A structure is different functions, different responsibilities, right? Mm. The structure mm. of our community right now is made of different responsibilities. So the, the structure is responsibility-based instead of a uh, a position based because everyone is in a particular position and yeah. in that particular position you just uh, express the, the responsibility that you know that you are able to do and you are interested in mm. so you you don't have a president well what is a job of a president because it, it is to, to oversee others. That is like becoming, we create a God now. I understand you oversee over others. Like you don't present any particular skill. I mean, we have electricity now, we have water. That, that, those things don't come from the president. What, what, what skill does the president uh, have to offer? They don't offer anything, right? The people are the ones who do everything. So we don't need that thing as a president, we need people to take res different responsibilities according to their abilities. Mm, mm. Yes. Uh, can, you, can you take us through of the positions that are, or the roles that are given to the people in, in, in the organization of us, the people that are, are already mm. there? Well, obviously, the, there's only one responsibility mm. which is given to everyone is to live freely <laughs> then when yeah. you are free you can determine what you want to do as long as you do not harm others because when you harm another then you are no longer free they are mm. going to obviously respond right so you are taking yeah. away your freedom by harming others so uh, in, in, in all this that i'm getting is that the real oppressor from you is the authority that is above us Yes, and where, when the, real, the reality is that 
there is uh, no authority above us. We are the authority. We just give it away. Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 I see. I understand you. And by, it is by choice, by the way. It is by choice, you know. Mm. Yes, if I, uh, I can say that, no, from today, I'm your president and you must uh, not open your eyes when you wake up. You, you, you will have to choose, right? Mm. There's no way an authority can force anyone to do anything. It, it cannot work. But they use law leadership to enforce whatever. Uh, they want to impose on us like we are we are we are we are busy with the regulations of lockdown currently and we we are abiding as people and if we are not abiding we we pay fines to the government for simple things like masks so i don't know if we can have freedom or it's our choice or we are being forced no it is your choice it is your choice of course because uh, if you choose when you choose not to follow someone saying that you must kill yourself. I mean, if they, they pass a law tomorrow that everyone must kill themselves, <laughs> then you'll have to take that choice, right? You, you make yeah. the choice to follow the authority, yeah. right? Yes, but in essence, life, you are not following any authority. You make a choice to follow the authority, right? Yeah. And it is everyone's choice to follow that authority. I don't wear a mask. I've never worn a mask. And uh, yeah. because I chose not to, and they cannot force me because I, they, they cannot force me. Even if they arrest me and they try to, to say, I'll be even in court without a mask, I'll be in jail without a mask because I choose not to wear it. They cannot put a, mask, a permanent mask on my face. That would be killing me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, no, he's right. I've, I've seen... I've seen uh, people of us, the people not wearing masks at all. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, but uh, 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 what, what, what are changes you want to bring to the society? Uh, something different that when I go to the ballot paper, I try to vote. What am I voting for? What am I, but, what am I seeing? You are voting for yourself. We are bringing you. You are voting for yourself. We are bringing you because you have given away yourself to the authority. So now mm. we are giving you yourself back. <laughs> then you will choose. We can choose for you that, no, if you vote for us, we'll create more jobs. If you vote mm. for us, we'll create more. What's up? You know, these political parties, what are, now we'll give people more land. Now we'll give people more jobs. We'll give people more education. <laughs> Yeah. You can't give people anything. People take what they need and what they deserve according yeah. to the effort they put in. No, that's 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 true leadership. That's true. Uh, yeah, and and uh, in, in 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 this midst of uh, I don't know how many how many political organizations you can find in a South African ballot. And they are very many leaders. They are very many. And, and you guys come up in 2020, open a political part. What, what can be the reason? Well, uh, the reason is that we were able to and uh, we have the freedom to understand. Yeah. So everyone in the country and the world can decide to form their own political party. Then we have 8 billion, 9 billion political parties. Then each political party does what it wants. Yeah. Because as an individual, you are a party in politics, whether you like it yeah. or not. We just came together as a collective to push a particular idea and we use the platform of politics, but you are a party yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In politics, whether you participate or not, you are a party in politics. Yeah, because so, you are part. Yes, you are a part of politics. Mm. So you are a party to politics as an individual. So we just formed a party of a collective that uh, uh, believe and know of a freedom 
as the the value that we should all be living by. So a party, we form the collective of different parties that makes one party, right? But we're all, yes, so like I said, each individual can is a party already. All the, the, the billions of people in the world or trillions or whatever, they are a party on their own, right? Then they form party to different uh, contracts, right? You can choose to be party to a contract that says that at every end of the month, I will give you money if you do this for me, right? Yeah. Yeah. But everyone who, it is not binding on everyone, right? But everyone is a party to something. I don't know if you get the, the gist of what no, I'm saying. No. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. now, yeah. We, you are a party to this conversation. I'm a party to this conversation, right? True. We can call True. this conversation a, a, a rice black child. It's another party on its own, Yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. No, no, I understand. But uh, getting back to, to the ideology, us, the people, is more of socialist than capitalist. No, social, those are just uh, terms that are used in politics for, for politics. But uh, everyone is socialist because to be social is what is human. There's no one who's not a socialist. And if the, the opposite of a socialist is an individualist. And there's no one who is an individualist. Otherwise, you cannot be able to exist without others. I mean, you did yeah. not even give birth to yourself. Your, your, your formation, right, and birth mm. comes from others. So already you are part of others. You cannot be an individualist. <laughs> we are all socialists in the world. It's like that. Yeah, no, no, I understand. But I, I, I so wished also, uh, because I, I, I heard when I spoke to Comrade in Cholo uh, he was a, is a, is a reader of Mikhail Bagunini, and uh, he, he's the author of the book, which was written, God and the State. And uh, yeah, I wanted you to, to take people through because it can be an eye opener that will help people to understand actually your, your ideology and what you really stand for. Well, our ideology does not necessarily come from Bakunin because even himself, his ideology does not come from himself. It comes from society, right? Mm. It comes from observing structures in the society and the distribution of resources in society. It does not come from him, right? Mm. There was society, socialism existed before the, the written ideology by Bakunin uh, Kropotkin or any other socialist, right? That mm -hmm. is why they were able to see it and write it. Oh, so yeah. it is not theirs. They just documented it, right? So there's people who uh, document different phenomenon in society and want that particular phenomenon to be the ruling over the phenomenon, mm -hmm. over the, the entire society. But socialism is an ideology that is the basis of people's existence who are social in nature. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, no, I get your leadership. So he's not actually uh, someone who, who invented the ideology, just saw what was really happening and he decided to write about it. Yes and even suggest how it should be happening so that people can be able to live in a society where they have freedom. Mm. I know no leadership, it's, it's very clear. It's a, <laughs> it's a language that will uh, take people uh, some time to see that it's not a new thing that you are talking about. But anyways, these are the views of the organization called Ask the People. And yeah, uh, we are here as a rise black child in black magnificent show trying to put out on the picture of their views and 
what they stand for. Leadership, as we are about to close, uh, uh, what do you want to tell South Africans? Uh, what can you say as a spokesperson of uh, Ask the People to South Africa? Well, as the people is essentially here to, to bring a new kingdom. Mm. Yes, so we are the ones who have that responsibility to show everyone that now the, the, the kingdom of the people has come and the, the kingdom of external authority has ended. Mm. Yeah, uh, everyone, I think we, we have heard that uh, as the people is saying, if you vote for them, you vote for yourself and you are putting a, a responsibility upon yourself. Uh, thank you, leadership, for, for such a show in, a, in a such a busy time. Thank you for your time, leader. Sure, thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, let's catch another episode of Black Magnificent Show next week. Uh, same time and yeah we'll be here uh, that's how we wrap it today thank you